five tenths of their life. Hey guys! We're hey! We're gonna play more Half-Life 2 today. So, Half-Life 2 hasn't been confirmed yet, but we're keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah, this is totally not Half-Life 2. This is Half-Life 3 and a half. The sequel to Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 will be released as a prequel. But we're keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. For Extreme Finger Let's Crossing Simulator. Part du. <laughs> part du. That's like my favorite part about Hot Shots Part 2. The fact that it's called Hot Shots Part du. What's Hot Shots? Oh, it's a movie about polices and stuff. Oh. You should watch it. It's good. I'm busy. I wouldn't know either. Oh! Oh, God! Well, that's an embarrassing way to die. That was... That was a bit odd. <laughs> I survived gunshots from a helicopter, little robots with blades, and I slipped on a pipe and fell to my death. That's pretty sad. Where, Where are, are you? you? Right, I'm back for it. Okay, watch. Watch how intimidating this is. Oh, oh God. I'm intimidated. What sucks is, wait a minute. We should blow it all up. Right now. Let me try something, Cody. I had an idea. That's, that's what sort I, of an idea. A that, good idea. That's what I did last time. Is I blew everything up. But I thought maybe, but I hurt myself. Yeah. See, last time I was down to about 20 health after doing that. Good job. He's above you. Ain't no one above me. Ain't no one above me. Except Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And Jehovah. <laughs> and Darth Vader. Uh -huh. Can you imagine how this would look from someone else's perspective? <laughs> Just a grown man, like with a doctorate in physics. Yeah, he has a doctorate in physics from okay. MIT. Just swinging a crowbar rapidly at a, at a man hack. Well, hanging from a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Get back! Go away! Stop it! I can imagine it'd be kind of weird. I think it'd be kind of funny. I'd probably just stand and watch for a minute. I don't know. I would have been out of there. Because those things would have, you know... I would have punched them all to death. I'm gonna punch you dead! This and then you get your hands grinded off as you try to punch them. Oh, gosh darn it. Well, Dang stop it. jumping down! Okay. Well, all is well. Alright, this part took me so long to figure out, because I didn't... Is it going to take you so long to figure out now? No, because yeah. I didn't notice that valve up there when I first did it. Valve. Hiding valves in their game. Oh, that's so clever. Not really. <laughs> it's just a valve. That's how, like, in um, Nintendo's remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 for the 3DS, fantastic version of the game, by the way, they hid Yoshis in there. Instead of frogs. Stupid jittery oh, ass havoc box. physics. Well, this runs on the. Joe. One second. What'd you do? Figure you what out? I don't know. Uh, darn it. I don't know. I need to know. If, you need to know what? If the Source Engine games run on the Havoc physics stuff or not. <laughs> now I need to know this. Well, you should have figured that out before we started this show. Like, not this episode in particular, but the entire show itself. Where do you come from? Where do you go? Hello, hot night here. Hey, is he dead? Kill him! Got him. Yeah. I give you a golfer's clap of hands. What are those barrels doing underwater? They're gonna drown. Barrels aren't real people. They're gonna drown, Nathan! Barrels aren't real people. They aren't fake people either. They're barrels. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the 47th Amendment that gave barrels equal rights. Speaking of that, I was taking, uh... I Remember took that intro to college amendments. and careers class just because no, I American had American amendments. I had a <clears throat> Munican amendments. Thank you very much. Uh, but I'm taking that intro to college and careers class that is offered so because it was either that or learn about dirt. Good job. <laughs> like the only two electives free were that and agricultural studies. 
So it's like, you can do this, or dirt. <laughs> this is a potato. <laughs> it grows in the dirt. This is also a potato. Oh yeah, now I remember what I'm supposed to do. Uh, but, I was in but. there, and then they were talking about, how, like, all the average earnings, like, based off of how you, uh, the average earnings of Americans based off of how much education they got. Right. And so, like, the statistics showed that men made more than women on average. Good. And the kid that sits beside me goes, man, that's wonderful that men make a lot. Well, he goes, it's pretty sweet that men make more than women. <laughs> And then, like, the three girls that sit behind... The, the three women that sit in front of them are just like, What? What do you do? Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> yeah. You need to learn to stop I'm pausing sorry. the game. I thought somebody changed the channel. I, can't breathe. I thought somebody turned the volume on. I can't breathe. My toe itched. Stop pausing the game. I can't breathe. Yeah, but I just thought that was funny. It's real awesome that men make more than women. <laughs> Well, that's what it should be. I did the 57th Amendment that said men have the right to make more money than women for they are the brainers of the bacon, the winners of the bread. Also, they have a wiener. That can be put on the bread with the bacon for the women to enjoy. Can't breathe! I can't breathe! Oh, that's a weird sandwich. <laughs> Dick sandwich! Well, so, after the 61st Amendment, the dicks. it said that all sexual acts that are considered oral must be done with the wiener on a piece of bread with bacon so that the girl can also enjoy it. Dick sandwich. <laughs> are you going to do anything? You're just sitting there. I got to do this, I think. Maybe I don't, but still, if I do, then I will have done it. <laughs> also, I have a limited amount of oxygen. You're gonna die. So what happens, is your health start depleting, or do you just automatically die? I think it's your health starts depleting. It's not too bad. And then is it like Super Mario 64, when you break the surface of the water, your health regenerates? Uh, yeah. Well, well see, then no, you I don't, I don't think, no, your health never regenerates in this game. Oh. So you're just breaking boxes underwater. But for a good cause, I think. For a good cause. Hey, your virus database has been updated! Thanks! You use the vast. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Norton. Better than Cause you Norton. know, who needs to browse? Huh. Norton, oh, yeah. Norton, here's a virus. <laughs> <laughs> no! I made it. Hello? I killed him. Oh, is there a flashlight? What? I, I had a cold chill and I like hurt my okay, neck. Well, I shivering. must thank you for kicking the table with a microphone. Now, whenever somebody listens to this, it's gonna be like, "Oh look, we're playing." <laughs> hey, this is Half Life Two. It's my favorite game. I tell you what, if there is one thing that makes me so mad on this show is I don't know how many times I have to tell you, Grant, and or Jackson, keep your feet off the table that houses the microphone. And I'll be damned if every time we start an episode, you're just like... <laughs> oh, so we're recording? Okay. I host my roof. And then I had to silently be like, get your feet off the table, and you're like, oh, okay. Then two minutes later... <laughs> yeah, so we're playing Half-Life 2, and you, you got guns and stuff. Do I make my point clear, Nathan? Thank you. I'll stop. I'll be a good Nathan. <coughs> Nathan, I'm thirsty. All right. Do you have any beverages? Like water. Does your mom have any diet Dr Pepper left? <laughs> I don't want any. I actually drank all the rest of the diet Dr Pepper. So you can have any. Okay. I'll just the rest of the coke. Yeah, we need to eliminate. Sweet.
sweet lemonade. Yes, I do, actually. So now what do you do? Go through where I just was. I was just making sure there wasn't any secrets. So, how long is it until we beat the game? I think... Are we like halfway I, through? Are we three-fourths of the way through? I'm probably long, but it's I think it's like 18 or 19 hours of... Like it's an 18 or 19 hour game. Wow! That's how long it took me on my first playthrough. Yeah, but was it also because you were trying to figure everything out? Uh, yeah, I guess since I know everything now in the world. There, so, maybe 17 like, and a half hours now? Like, probably 16 or 17 hours now. But still, pretty... For, for its time, it was a pretty long game. <laughs> Suck it! Wait a minute, I'm gonna put this ammo... Oh, I just pick up the ammo. Suck it! Huh. Now you can't have the box. Now what do you do? You're stuck in a room. I'm stuck in the room. You know, the movie. Yeah. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! It's still not as bad as Burnemic. I'm pretty sure nothing will ever be as bad. I've forgotten what I did. Have you, okay, now, have you ever actually seen the movie, or are you just going by what you've seen Oh no, I've, John Tron? After I watched that, I remember seeing some of, like, some clips of it on the soup. And I was like, oh, I should probably watch that sometime. And then John did a review of it and reminded me that it existed. It, it's... It's bad. Hey, I'm just making sure, because if there's one thing I've noticed about you, besides your tendency to kick the microphone around like it's a soccer ball... You sometimes quote games where you're like, oh, it's like this game. But they're usually games you've seen on Game Graps. And you make me feel like you've never actually played the game. You're just going by what you've seen on the internet that didn't have naked people in it. Is there something wrong with that? I understand how the game works if I've seen it on the internet. True. I'm just saying that so you make it sound like you played the game before. And See that? that? I can't walk me. in that because it hurts. Like when we were playing Castle Crashers, Watch. and I, 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 I believe you. Oh. Anyways, like when we were playing Castle Crashers, and we were trying to figure out how to get that tiger, and you started going into the whole like, oh, I bet it's like the my, the perspective thing from Out of This World with Mike Aruba. And I was like, you've probably never even heard of that game until Game Grumps played it. What's wrong with that? What's what's wrong with being introduced to something? I'm not saying it's not. Yeah, but you're. Kind That's of not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's when you make it sound like you played the game. Like if whenever I mention something that I've never played before, I'll be like, oh, it's like when I was watching Game Grumps and they did Pokemon Emerald and they caught a Rayquaza and then it never happened because they only did like 20 episodes and never even got the second badge. Nathan, I love you. But gonna be give me some lemonade. Sweet, delicious lemonade. Pretty please with my happiness. Oh! oh. Head crabs. Oh no! Head crabs. Oh no! Head crabs. Head crabs? Head crabs. Oh, that can't be good. Head crabs. Oh. Oh, there he is. Head crabs. Okay, uh, next time on Half-Life Squared, we're gonna go see a doctor about our head crabs.